This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to create bad TV effects transitions in Premiere Pro, as you can see on the screen. I will show you a very easy way to create bad TV effects transitions in Premiere Pro. If you want to download ready-made bad TV effects templates for your project, then I will give you some best ready-made bad TV effects template download links in the video description. You can download them from there. So, let's get started. Now we are inside Premiere Pro. As you can see in the timeline, I have already got four different video clips. And, you can see there are three cut points between four video clips. In this tutorial, I will create three different bad TV effects transitions in the three cut points. Firstly, let's talk about our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Design better projects faster with Envato Elements. Get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready-to-use templates for your digital projects. Create more with premium design assets, video templates, mockups, fonts, presentations, photos, audio files, and more. All with commercial licenses for extra peace of mind. And Vato Elements will make any project better while saving you time, effort, and money. Get unlimited downloads with Envato Elements and start creating today. Let's go back to the tutorial. Well, first of all, move the time indicator to the first cut position between two video clips. Let's zoom the timeline. First of all, we have to create an adjustment layer. Then click on OK. Next, drag and drop this adjustment layer to the top of the video. Now, we need a total of 6 frames of the adjustment layer. So from the middle cut position, move the time indicator 3 frames backward. Then, cut off the adjustment layer. Now, we have to move the time indicator 6 frames forward. Next, let's cut off the adjustment layer at this position, and remove this extra part. Now, you can see this is our adjustment layer of 6 frames. 3 frames are before the cut point, and 3 frames are after the cut point. Now, I am going to add a marker in the adjustment layer to this middle cut position. It will help us to place the adjustment layer to the middle cut point. That's why select the adjustment layer. And then, we have to press M from the keyboard. Now, you can see a marker has been added in the middle position of the adjustment layer. Next, I am going to duplicate the adjustment layer and place it on the rest of the cut points. You can do this by holding the ALT key from the keyboard and dragging it forward. Now, we will create black and white bad TV effects transitions in the first cut point. Now, we have to apply some effects. That's why move over to the effects panel. First of all, we have to apply the wave warp effect. Let's drag and drop this wave warp effect to this first adjustment layer. Again, we have to apply another effect. This is a noise effect. Let's drag and drop this noise effect to this first adjustment layer. And lastly, we have to apply another effect, this is a tint effect. Let's drag and drop this tint effect to this first adjustment layer. As you can see on the program monitor, the video is black and white. Because we are going to create black and white bad TV effects transition. Now, we have to customize all the effects. So we have to move over to the effect controls panel. Here you can see all the effects. First of all, from the wave warp effect, we have to change the wave type. Here, I am going to select noise. Then, we have to make the wave height value around 1000. Now, you can see the changes on the program monitor. Now, we have to make the wave width value around 1. After that, let's make the phase value around 50. If we move the time indicator slowly, you can see on the program monitor it looks cool. In the next step, from the noise effect, we have to make the amount of noise value around 100%. Now, you can see a slight change on the program monitor. Now, we have to uncheck this box of use color noise. And, we don't need to change anything of the tint effect. Now we are done. 
Our black and white bad TV effects transition is ready. If we play the video you can see the black and white bad TV effects transition in the first cut point between two video clips. As you can see, it looks great. In this way, you can create a black and white bad TV effects transition. Now, I will create a colored bad TV effects transition in the second cut point between two video clips. Now, we have to apply some effects to create a colored bad TV effects transition. Let's move over to the effects panel. First of all, we have to apply the wave warp effect. Let's drag and drop this wave warp effect to this second adjustment layer. Next, we have to apply another effect. This is a noise effect. Let's drag and drop this noise effect to this adjustment layer. Next, we have to apply another effect. This is a strobe light effect. Let's drag and drop the strobe light effect to this adjustment layer. You can see on the program monitor, the screen is white. Lastly, again, we have to apply the wave warp effect. Drag and drop this wave warp effect to this adjustment layer. Let's move over to the effect controls panel to customize all the effects. If we move the time indicator slowly, you can see the changes on the program monitor. Firstly, from the wave warp effect, we have to change the wave type. Here I am going to select triangle. Next, make the wave height value around 200. After that, make the wave width value around 1. Let's make the phase value around 50 degrees. Now you can see the changes on the program monitor. Next, from the noise effect, we have to make the amount of noise value around 100%. Now, we have to uncheck this box of use color noise. In the next step, from the strobe light effect, we have to make the strobe duration to zero. And then, make the strobe period value around zero. After that, we have to make the random strobe probability value around 67%. Next, we have to change the strobe operator. Here I am going to select difference. Now, if we move the time indicator slowly, you can see a slight change on the program monitor. This is great. Lastly, we have to customize the wave warp effect a little bit. Let's make the wave height value around minus 39. And then, make the wave width value around 1218. After that, make the direction value around 0 degrees. Let's make the wave speed around 2. Now, we are done. If we move the time indicator slowly, you can see the changes on the program monitor. Our colored bad TV effects transition is ready. Let's preview. Wow, it looks great. This is amazing. In this way, you can create a colored bad TV effects transition very easily. Lastly, I am going to create another colored bad TV effects transition in the last cut point between two video clips. Now, we have to apply some effects to the last adjustment layer. So, move over to the effects panel. Firstly, we have to apply the wave warp effect. Let's drag and drop this wave warp effect to the last adjustment layer. Next, we have to apply another effect. This is a noise effect. Let's drag and drop this noise effect to the last adjustment layer. And lastly, I am going to apply the invert effect. Just drag and drop this invert effect to this adjustment layer. If we move the time indicator slowly, you can see the changes on the program monitor. Now, we have to customize all the effects. That's why, move over to the effect controls panel. Here you can see all the effects. Firstly, from the wave warp effect, we have to change the wave type. Here I am going to select smooth noise. Next, we have to make the wave height value around 500. After that make the wave width value around 805. Next, make the direction value around 0 degrees. And then, make the phase value around 50 degrees. Now, we have to change the anti-aliasing, best quality. Here I am going to select high. If we move the time indicator slowly, you can see the changes on the program monitor. Next, from the noise effect, we have to make the amount of noise value around 100%. Now, we have to uncheck this box of use color noise. And lastly, you can see the invert effect. From the channel settings, I am going to select hue. Now we are done. Our other colored bad TV effects transition is ready. If we move the time indicator slowly, you can see the colored bad TV effects transition perfectly on the program monitor. Wow, this is great.
It looks cool. In this way, you can create a colored bad TV effects transition very easily. As you can see, we have perfectly created three different bad TV effects transitions in three cut points between four video clips. Let's preview. In this way, you can create bad TV effects transitions in Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video and leave a comment.